After seeing this awesome video by Sword Arts, let's talk more in depth about fencing with the cape. Sword and cape is one of my favorite weapon sets because I am a fancy fancy boy, but also I like being a tricky jerk and the cape does both. First, one of the biggest mistakes hematists make when using a cape, using it purely defensively. A cape can be an effective defensive weapon, warning away blows, as seen here, but this is not its area of excellence. A buckler or a dagger are much more defensive offhand weapons. Capes are meant to be tricky, offensive offhand weapons. You don't just parry with a cape, you actively use its length and weight to capture the opponent's sword at a distance by flicking your wrist. As seen here, this kind of offensive action puts pressure on the opponent to change guards, retreat, or attack recklessly. This and dirty tricks by obscuring vision are where their cape really shines, and why I pick it over the buckler every time.